Cancel culture is to blame for a suicide of British choreographer, says Russian ballet dancer who claims the directors were too scared to put on his show despite him being cleared of sex misconduct allegations. Welcome to the Dum Dum News Channel. I'm your host Dum Dum. If you're new to the channel, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and leaving your comments below. So let's continue on with the article. Royal Ballet choreographer Liam Scarlett died at age 35, his family revealed. American Ballet Theater's Alexei Ratmatsky said cancel culture is killing. Mr. Scarlett accused of touching dancers' backsides, among other allegations. The choreographer was cleared following an independent investigation. Even so, the Royal Opera House, who run the Royal Ballet, dropped him. So it turns out Liam Scarlett, who you see here on the screen, is a very popular choreographer and he was accused of some misconduct. One of the things the article says is that he was touching people and if you're in the dancing, any kind of dancing, and you're a choreographer or a dancer, you're going to touch other people. That's just part of what happens. And in ballet, they do a lot of jumping and spinning. So I could see them touching all over people's bodies because of the nature of what they're doing. Then we have a tweet from Alexei Repmansky, who is a dancer, and it says, I am shocked of the news of Liam Scarlett's suicide. What a tragic loss of a rare choreographic talent. How many amazing ballets he could have created yet. After allegations of inappropriate behavior less than two years ago, companies that he worked for removed his ballets from the rep and canceled all his future contracts. I did hear one director say, I can't program his ballets. I'll be eaten alive. Liam knew he has no future as a choreographer. That killed him. It should not have happened. This cancel culture is killing. It is too much. Would other countless greats who were not spotless be able to work today? How is it possible that the whole ballet world, all of us, turn on backs on such amazing talent, forcing him to die so young? Shame and sadness. Rest in peace, Liam. So after the allegations, directors were afraid to put on his ballets because then they will probably be canceled too. Here is a treat from the Royal Opera House. We are deeply saddened to hear of the news of Liam Scarlett's death. Our thoughts are with his family and friends at this very time. If your response to someone is very, very toxic, then you're probably part of the cancel culture problem that is pushing people to do bad things like commit suicide. and. Suicide is never the answer in my opinion. I think that also you have to learn to be stronger than letting people's words and letting people's actions get to you too much. You have to be able to walk through those things as hard as it is. It's a good idea to have a foundation and family and friends and a community of people that will be there for you. Well, those are my thoughts and opinions. What are yours? Leave them in the comments below for the Dum Dum News Channel. I'm Dum Dum.